when you talk to the, the, the guys from the 92 team, the, the dream team, and they start to realize, I mean, they knew when they walked into the room they were pretty good. Mm -hmm. But they start to play together and start to realize how dangerous a team they could be. Uh -huh. how, it's just historic. Right. Did you start to have that feeling with Swoops and Leslie and, and McRae and Bolton and you and mm -hmm. all these, when you're all in that same room practicing and working together, mm -hmm. when did it start to dawn on you, we could really be special, historic, unique team? Um. It was probably about the midway, midway through when we were um, going to different towns and different cities and playing against some of the, the college teams and um, some of the other teams overseas, uh, just scrimmaging them back and forth. You could feel the level of respect that we had um, attained from uh, definitely by some of the countries. Mm. And then you start to feel like, oh, okay. So maybe, you know, oh, we, are, we are pretty good. We mm. are pretty decent, you know. And it, it, it's just, you start to feel like you're invincible. And then you start to walk it. And then after a while, you start to play like it, you know? And all of a sudden, we just played like machines. And before you know it, things were just clicking. And we were just, you know, going. And then after, and then after, the, after the games, you know, we meshed as a team. We played cards at night, you mm. know, going to the room, play cards, and just crack jokes and have fun. So we made it worth our while.